African Championship that's going to be in Mozambique, Maputo. The games start tomorrow. Just to stay members of AFBC as affiliate members, we must participate in the games organized by AFBC. If we don't participate, then we lose the affiliation. Two, uh, they have not indicated it's a qualifier of a world championship, but normally what they do is they consider ratings. If you're performing well, your ranking goes high as an athlete. That's why you see last time when we were in Senegal, uh, the team that was in Senegal gained some ranks. When we couldn't do qualifiers for boxing, for the Olympic Games, they considered those kind of records. It's their time also to prove to us of what they can do. And uh, going forward, we're going to start having assessment plans. Uh, so that if a box has been given a chance, maybe one or two times, and you're not registering success, then we'll have a reason to think of having another, another boxer replace that kind of boxer because we can't keep on not evaluating the boxers, even the coaches themselves. If you're a coach and you've been on two, three, four missions, you're not registering successes, then we need to think of how we can evaluate and see if we can change and give another coach a chance. Now, since, since this quarter began, we haven't received any money from the, that ring first fund. No, neither have we received any coin from National Council of Sports. So we are in a tricky situation. Should we go and just demand for support for the activity or should we wait for the ring fenced support to come through? Because even if you go and ask for the money for the activity, they will say we don't have the money. So I would like to take this chance to tell the government of Uganda that if possible, release our ring fenced funds so that we can be able to support our activities. Because going for this kind of a competition, we're going to end up spending about 150 million shillings in terms of air tickets, in terms of accommodation, in terms of meals for people, but we don't have any money coming from the government. We are prepared enough. We're from Birmingham and it was a good exposure from there. So we came back here, we got a two day, a two day off and immediately we are, we are called for the non-residential camp here at Lugogo, whereby we have been training and polishing our mistakes, learning more techniques like the, the clinch technique, which is not an easy technique, but so far we have mastered it and we are ready to go and give it a try in Maputo, whereby I believe that we are going to make it and bring back victory home.